I actually just got back from a trip to Sri Lanka and India where I was volunteering in hospitals over there and it was probably the most rewarding experience of my life. my first time traveling out of North America and it was my first time traveling by myself so I picked the entire other side of the world and I just went with it. I think time changed me. I, I just really sat down and thought you know what do I want to do with my life and where do I want to go and, and when I was younger like much younger I had wanted to be a doctor and then as I got older, I kind of lost that, that dream along the way. And I just decided that if that's really what I want to do, then that's what I'm going to do. At Mount Royal, I'm enrolled in the Bachelor of Science program, and I'm double majoring in health sciences and cellular molecular biology. The dream is still medicine, yes. There's a lot of hoops that you have to jump through to get there, and, but one step at a time. So this is step one. <laughs> I really think that selfless acts of compassion are, are really an, important for, for every, everything. Like, I, you know, it's just something I really enjoy doing and it's something, it makes me feel good to be helping other people. So I guess it's kind of selfish, or selfish reason to be volunteering, you know, is it makes me feel good. Um, I was volunteering with Projects Abroad, which is an organization that works um, globally around the world with various different types of placements like veterinary, medical, um, journalism, it just depends what, what you're interested in. So in Sri Lanka I worked in uh, public and private hospitals where I mostly just did uh, shadowing, like I'd follow doctors on their ward rounds and I got to stand in surgeries and scrub in for some surgeries. Um, as well, we would go and do outreach programs. So we go to the community and we teach them about hygiene and and uh, we do blood pressure reading and that kind of stuff. As well as we started teaching English to some of the doctors there and the nursing staff as well. So we'd be teaching them medical English so that they could um, better communicate with um, other organizations and hospitals around the world. I actually think the person who left the biggest impression on me from Sri Lanka would be um, the doctor that I was shadowing in neurosurgery, uh, Dr. Atanayaka. He would take me on ward rounds in the morning at 8 o'clock, and then we would go to surgery together, and he would let me scrub in, and he would let me assist in the surgeries. And then we would leave in the afternoon around 4, and we would go and do outpatients until you know, dinner time. And then we would go to a private hospital, and we would you know, do more surgeries till 4 o'clock in the morning. And just his dedication to work was astounding and he said to me I'm only paid to work you know nine to five but there's so many patients and there's only X number of neurosurgeons that if I only worked nine to five not everybody would get the help that they needed and I just found that to be amazing you know he was sacrificing his personal life and his family life and everything just to because he was so dedicated to his job and committed to you know what he had decided to do with his life and I just found that really really inspiring you know to, to work that hard to, to do something. It was amazing. Um, I think it just reaffirmed that I want to be a doctor and that that's what I want to spend the rest of my life doing. They'd be so excited that a medical you know volunteer was there from from another country even though they're sick and they they have nothing and I just it just makes me so grateful and I think it's just made me more more compassionate and understanding towards other people or I hope it has anyway. Mm -hmm.